Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at the NVL2 function in Oracle SQL. So NVL2 basically allows a user to determine that if a particular column or value is null then what to return and if it is not null then what to return. Okay, NVL it was like previously in our previous video when we discussed about NVL it was like if the expression is uh, not null then the expression itself is written if the expression is null then the other expression is written okay but nvl2 states like it is a three expression uh, function the first one the expression one which is passed is the main one which is considered to check null or not null data if the data in expression one is not null then expression two is returned okay and if the data in expression one is null then expression three is returned okay now over here expression one can have any data type expression two and three also can have any data type except long okay and then before uh, executing an nvl2 oracle will try and ch do, uh, uh, check the data types of expression two and three if they both are same not a problem if they are different oracle try and do an implicit data type conversion if possible then okay if not possible then it will raise an error okay so i'll just show all these things with proper example over here now to understand it more easily let us look at this statement over here what I am doing here it is I am using an NVL2 and the first expression that I have is character A okay and then the other two expressions are character B and C so as we just now went through NVL2 syntax it is like if this expression 1 is null then expression 3 will be returned if expression 1 is not null then expression 2 will be returned so over here a is not null so when I execute it I get the output B it is like if null then if not null then kind of a thing so over here a is not null so I get B if a would be null as in second case so when I execute it I get C okay so as simple as that the first expression is considered uh, is checked to have what kind of data if the data is not null the very next expression is uh, given out if the data is null the third expression is given now to understand it with uh, some practical example I am using the HR schema and the employees table over here I have three columns employee ID salary and commission PCT as you can see there are many columns which has commission PCT with data null and some column with data in commission PCT in that case if I want to give a commission uh, if I want to revise the salary of the employees uh, by multiplying it with commission PCT so as I have written it over here I am just adding the salary uh, into commission PCT to the existing salary when I execute it as you can see the places where commission PCT is null I even get the new revised salary as null let me just uh, rename this as revised cell so when I execute it I even get the revised salary as null why because null into anything is null null is absence of data the absence of data into anything returns me null null plus anything null into any uh, comparison anything with null gives output as null so in that case how we can help take the help of NVL2 so in the next statement what I have written is I have written something like I have taken employee ID salary and commission PCT and then I have used NVL2 what I am saying is if commission and then I am considering this commission PCT column so if this commission PCT is not null then do this salary plus salary into commission PCT give me the revised salary that way and if the commission PCT is null then I can't do anything just return the salary okay so I'll give alias of this also as revised cell now when I execute it as you can see for the columns where the commission PCT is null revised salary has salary so when this commission PCT was returned as null just salary was printed the third expression okay and for the cases where commission PCT is not null you can see that the salary is revised I have multiplied commission PCT with salary added it with salary and then shown here so this is what NVL2 does it checks whether the first expression has null or not null if it has not null data as in these cases it will perform the second expression okay 
and if it has null data such as in these cases then it will return the third expression that is just the salary also here the same data type uh, conversion implicit conversion takes place if it is not able to do an implicit conversion it raises an error the, that concept remains same as that of an NVL and I have uh, discussed about that in my previous video so please do look at that I hope this video was informative and we are quite clear on NVL too uh, please do like share and subscribe and please do let me know your thoughts in the comments this is Kishan signing off thank you